And uh, we, ha we have sort of a follow-up question from our audience uh, uh, that says, uh, if you are operating on a patient's lung, how does the patient breathe during surgery? And I think we answered that question to some degree, but... Um, Yes, indeed. Uh, well, when we place the double lumen tube, we can clamp one, one of the lumens and deflate the lung that needs to be operated on. And the patients are doing pretty well breathing just with one lung. Because normally we don't use all our vital capacity of our lungs to breathe when we're not doing any sternal activity. Uh, so uh, most patients tolerate one lung ventilation pretty well. At the end of the procedure, we reinflate the operative, operative lung, and, and uh, the surgeons control that reinflation by looking through those little telescopes that they insert into the chest to make sure that the lung is all spread it out. There's no leaks, um, no accidental injuries to the lung that needs repair. And then um, the patient resume, resume re all the patients resume breathing spontaneously eventually and uh, we pull the breathing tube at the end of the procedure and uh, everybody's doing well.